She stood there, facing her rented flat of two weeks, that only a few days earlier she had thought was dingy. Now that it was time to leave the place, she couldn't help but think it was quaint and charming and homey, and other words that people used when they wanted to make a place sound more wonderful than it was. But honestly, it was just small and musty. Sunlight slipped in through the single window, illuminating the heavy clouds of dust in the air. Even if the light had not attested to the apartment's age and outdated mode, the smell certainly did. No amount of beating the curtains or airing the place out seemed to cure it of its heavy scent of neglect. And yet, here she stood, unwilling to look away from the place she had temporarily called home. Why must she put herself through this after every job? It would be easier to just turn around and walk away without looking back. Instead, her feet felt cemented to the floor, keeping her from moving on. She felt an odd tug of emotion from somewhere deep within her she didn't like, couldn't name, and really just wished it would go away. She had been feeling it more and more lately. It made her feel incapable of not taking the last few moments in every rented room or apartment to look around and imagine, for just one fleeting moment, what it would be like if she stayed. Time stretched for a moment as she stood still and allowed herself to imagine a different outcome. She pictured herself unpacking her worn valise and placing her few dresses into the oak wardrobe in the corner. She would trade out the dust in the empty vase on the table for a bundle of colourful flowers and try her best to remember to refill the water when it looked low. When friends came over for a dinner party, they would all comment on the beauty and vibrancy of her flowers and insist on learning the secret to their longevity. Or would they? Rose didn't know exactly what close friends discussed at dinner parties because she had never allowed herself to have friends. And as for loved ones, well, Papa had been gone thirteen years now. All of this dreaming was really a useless waste of time. She wouldn't stay. She never did. Rose would continue to live her life the way she always had and the way she preferred it. Alone. 